Hi, welcome to week two. Um, one of the common things that you'll have to be doing um, throughout the course is you will, um, obviously you're going to be submitting assignments to me, and one of the things that I like to do is I like to, you know, obviously grade your assignments, but I also would like to give you feedback on your assignments. So sometimes your assignments may be coming back to you for further editing. So be sure that you are always going into your assignments area and viewing all of the assignments here within your inbox. For example, in week one, as the demo student, I submitted, um, well, the demo student is basically just a fake student in the course that I can use to show students, other students on how to use the course. So I used the demo student to submit both of the assignments from last week, the term project choices and the week one exercise file. And you'll notice that now the demo student has one of the assignments turned back to them, which was the week one term project choices. And it says here, status, individual, in progress, tip number two. So what I can do then is I, as a demo student, I can go in here and see what happened. And my original submission as a demo student was, can I do cat in the hat? And then as the instructor, I wrote back to the demo student and said, you know, I'm sorry, cat in the hat is not free of copyright. So then what, um, you then would have to do, the demo student would have to do, is they would have to change this submission to something else, and then they would have to maybe give some comments or what have you, and then they would submit it back to the instructor. So let's say they changed it to, you know, Now they want to do Tom Sawyer and they're going to submit it. So now they go to their inbox and look, all of their assignments have been submitted and now they just have to wait and see if they get a grade. So now let's say you come into week two and you go to your inbox and you notice, wow, you know, I guess the instructor hasn't either graded my assignments, which could be possible and I'll, I'll get them back to you as soon as I can. Maybe you come to your inbox and you see that they're not there and you think, I wonder if he's given me grades and I will also try to get you grades as soon as I can. So let's say you go over to the grades area and you notice, oh, look, my week one homework, I got an 8 out of 10. And then in the comments area, I'm able to provide you some comments this way as well to tell you, you know, about how you did on the assignment. So in this case, uh, the demo student did really well on their exercise assignment and I wrote, you know, good job in your assignment, you know, but be sure that you're always, you know, uh, commenting and formatting your code. Um, so this is one way you'll get feedback on your assignments from me as well. Another way is I might send you an email directly talking about an assignment, but normally what I would do is I will either give you a grade and then you'll find comments here within the gradebook, or I will submit the assignment back to you and then you just, like I said, you just need to make sure you go over to the assignments area and make sure that you do not have any assignments in your inbox. Continually go through the course and make sure that your inbox is empty. If there is an assignment in the inbox, that means that it's something I've either you have to do and turn in, or it's something that you've turned into me and I sent the assignment back to you. So as you're going through the course, make sure each week that you're submitting everything in your inbox to me so that I can grade it. Um, this way, you know, I, I wouldn't want to give you a grade, a failing grade in an assignment if it's it, when I know that if I send it back to you, you could fix a couple things. Um, so that's why I'm going to be giving you feedback and sending the assignment back to you with the opportunity that you could turn it back into me and receive full credit. Because the goal of this course is I just want to make sure that you understand how to do everything in this course. Make sure that you can apply it to your future career as a, as a web designer. Um, and the best way to do that is for, just for me to give you some actual good feedback that you could use. So the best way to do that is through uh, submitting and receiving back these different assignments and stuff like that. So once we, you actually have some assessments, um, the feedback process for that's a little bit differently because I can give you feedback on each specific question and we'll talk about that later because uh, there will be um, an assessment at the end of the course, a multiple choice assessment um, on your readings from your Dream Weaver book and to get feedback on those questions it'll be through this, through this way. So have a good rest of your week. Be sure that you're checking for your feedback on the assignments and uh, checking your gradebook and always make sure your inbox is empty. And let me know if you haven't let the class or I know if you have any questions about how do you do that. And also, don't forget, you can always go over here to the Help Center to get information about how uh, to uh, feedback and submitting assignments and stuff like that. So, on assignments, sorry. Have a good day.